What's going on? It's the Geek Speak show at Comic Book Hideout. It's cold, it's windy, but you know what? We did a WonderCon, it was raining, it was cold in this, so, so what? Who, nobody cares. We're going to do something kind of cool, something special here. It's something that, something new that they do every Friday night. We'll give you more info on that as the night goes on. But for now, follow me in and let's find out what's going on Friday nights at the Comic Book Hideout. Come on. And here we are. Now we're inside of the comic book hideout, not hiding anymore. With me is the artist of the night, Jesse Rivers. Jesse, how are you doing? Hello, hi, pretty well, pretty well by yourself. Doing good. So tell me a little bit about the art that you're we're gonna show it as we're as they're they're listening to us talk, but talk talk about your art and how you got started and all that. Uh yeah, well I've been drawing basically my whole life. It's kinda of like, you know, a hobby and then just hobby turned into a passion and then it just kinda of turned into a what do you want to do for the rest of your life and career. And pretty much just um, uh, Grew up in Inglewood, so I've kind of just taken all those fundamentals of growing up in the streets and kind of mixed it in like a fusion of like hip hop, which kind of super relatable to me, the lyrics. So I uh, kind of take those lyrics and fuse it with hip hop and street culture into uh, painting. But that's pretty much uh, like the core of like my artwork. And yeah, that's for like kind of most of it. Well, a lot of you'll see as we're talking, The you also have some superhero influences. So was, how did yeah. that come into it? Yeah, so, um, well, sort of my, uh, my brand's name is Malvados. It's a Spanish word. It just means evil, wicked, bad. It's a synonym for, like, it's growing up, my dad would used to say, call me a Malvado, because I was always, you know, when you're young, just out on the street and just being bad and all that and just doing what you want to do. So I kind of just stuck with that name and then just, like, I do, I always grew up, like, in supervillains. So I was like, oh, well, it's just perfect. So... Uh, I just paint a bunch of supervillains, and it's kind of an influence. Also, try to relate it back to the streets. Just like a lot of growing up in Inglewood, you see a lot of bad stuff, but um, you can't appreciate the good without the bad. So I try to. That's why I paint supervillains, malvados, uh, in like you know, in especially in my surrounding, in my uh, land, local landmarks in Inglewood. I'll I'll just throw a supervillain in there, and just you could kind of see it as a as a metaphorical representation of like all the ills of inside the community. But it also just ties it into just like making a cool painting. Like, who doesn't want to see a comic book hero, you know, or a comic book villain, just like in your own hometown? So that's kind of like the basis of how I started. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep uh, promoting, bring bring more attention to like uh, the city of Inglewood and just my my art. And you know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say those of you that don't know this word right here, yeah, that's yes. what it means, villains. Pretty much villains, yeah. yes. And I've always said on on the Geeks picture, I always said that really every superhero, yeah, we like Spider Man, Superman, Batman, whatever, but really a hero is only as good as its villain. Saying correct, I I agree. That's what I think. It's uh, I think it's what holds the story together. Without a villain, there's no plot. So exactly, yeah, can't. So as far as the your style, I mean, who who do you who who do you See as inspiration. Uh, like, well, clearly from the paintings you can see it's very pop art. I, I'm a big fan of pop art, so basically like you know Andy Warhol, Roy Lynchstein. But aside from that, just um, like even local. I mean, just even uh, artists today like Alex Ross. Um, I don't know his uh, this other artist is. I just know his Instagram, Deadly Mike. Mike Del Mundo. He's so good. Like so, a bunch of these like comic book artists are just. They're, they're also just a lot of huge inspiration because they're kind of just doing what I want to do. They mix like hip hop and, and comics or just anything related with comics. So that's what I draw most of the inspiration. But it's mostly a lot of like pop art, bright colors, just, you know, very uh, half tones, all that. So you can see like, you get all, all that comes across. Um, and also surrealism, like a, a crowd of like surrealism. I try to get, um, you know, as real as possible, to try to keep it, uh, yeah, try to make, create surrealism with pop art and in a, in a unique fusion. But, that's like pretty much the basis of my uh, the, my steez. I don't want to sound like the dad here. I am the old guy here, but you started the story this way. 
What is your end? What is your end game? What is your professional goal with all this? Uh, at the end game is just kind of I just want to brand out. Honestly, uh, I don't know. Probably just kind of I really want to get merch going. You know, people walk around with my with my brand, the Malvados, and just it's pretty much just jacket, shirts. I don't know to anything. Just but right now it's just kind of I kind of just started. It's been like two years in of trying to like get the name out there, trying to get exposure for myself. But in the, the long run, is yeah, just kind of make my own, like make my make my brand, be my own boss, you know, hook the homies up, you know, hook the the communities everywhere they're growing up, just kind of give back to to everything that helped me come up. That's the best thing right there. Be your own boss. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Now, it's right here. Is there any website or is it just? That's my Instagram. I do have a website. You can just go to www.malvados.com. I think it's also with an X. And yeah, you just follow me. Most of my stuff's on Instagram. You check me out right there. And you saw him here first on the Geek Speak Show. It's Jesse Reeves. Jesse, thanks a lot. And oh, wish thank you, the you best man. Of Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for the interview. All right, so now we are in a room that doesn't exist. It's like it Harry Potter. Exist. It's a it's a room somewhere in the hideout. When you come here, you might see it, you might not. But with me is someone who does exist. Those of you that have been to the hideout, you know you know who this is. Yeah, hey, I'm funky. funky. I'm Funky Garcia. Nice to meet you. Hey, Funky. Uh, hey, how how you been, Henry? I've been good. So good. <laughs> let's talk about this. I was like, you, you guys, you guys have seen what's going on out there. You hear the sounds of the fun and everything. So what is what is the event called for those that don't know? Uh, for oh, I mean Art Walk in general. Yeah. Yeah. So Art Walk every first Friday for downtown Fullerton. Uh, it's it's been a tradition for uh you know a few years. Um. Uh, that's actually how I started here. I, I curated a group show, and I was, you know, it's like I also really did comics, and then me and Glennis just kind of hit it off, and 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 now it's like, I don't know, it's cool. Um, just uh, we've always have fun music, we've always had cool art, we've always had cool guests. It's just a part of the hideout. Yeah, yeah. We were talking right before we started shooting that. That's part of the reason when I moved here right before the world shut down. We all remember that. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm, when I moved here from San Francisco, I was looking around at, at most of my, the uh, the local comic book shops. A lot of them, not going to say any names, but a lot of them, they, they're cool, but then there's a hideout. There's just something different about the hideout. It starts with Glennis, of course, the, the oh, owner. Yeah. Then Funky, he brought me in, and, and uh, I think you were doing Nerdamike at that time. Yeah, yeah. We used to have a, ca- uh, a comedy night. Yeah. yeah, which is pretty cool. Now maybe we'll bring it back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now when I saw this, um, the, I don't think you called it. Art, you called it something else, but it was I think the we always have a different this. like theme show. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like in general, we like we have art walk going on. We said the nerd mics. We had painting nights. Uh, but yeah. Um, but each each one uh, we've been doing a, a solo showings uh, this whole since like the last half of last year. Uh, and I just pick an artist that I feel like they can like transform the room. You know? you, well, you know what I liked about it really is a lot like what I do on the Geek Speak show. Is I, I like to give kids that are just starting out a chance to get on the microphone, get behind cameras, you know, help me out and you know start their careers. Here, you don't have you know name artists, people that draw the comic books professionally. You, they, it's it's kids. Well, kids from my point of view. When you get to my age, everybody's a kid. But it's people that are just starting out, artists that are just starting out. For a lot of them, this is their first, the first time that they get to uh, to show off their artwork. So how do you go about finding all these artists? Uh, it's, it's a mixed bag. I mean, sometimes I, I go to a lot of other art walks in different cities. I go to a lot of different galleries, uh, you know. Um, and, you know I've, been, I've been curating for a while. A lot of it started with I got an opportunity at another friend's store to use their like gallery. You know, and I only had a few pieces that I was really confident on. Like, I want to show these. So I would hit up all the homies and we'd put together a show. You know, uh, and so it was like, it's just, it's just another subculture. It's the art community. I'm part of the art community, music community, comic community. <laughs> yeah. So if somebody's watching this and you're an artist and they say, hey, you know, I want my stuff showing at the comic book hideout. How do they get a hold of you? First step. Uh, come to the hideout, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's different than like seeing us online. You gotta check it out. Cause I mean, it's, the store is kind of deceiving sometimes There's people just get up front and they don't even notice the backside till later. I did say yeah. it's the room that doesn't exist. And you, oh, don't, yeah. you don't need a wand for this though. <laughs> you might be able to find it. Maybe. Yeah. And this is a bit of a funky gallery. This is just, yeah, it's my background. Well, Tell them the address. Where, where, how can they go to the hideout? Oh, yeah. So it's going to be uh, 215 West Commonwealth, downtown Fullerton. You don't got to type in downtown. 
uh yeah and just right here in southern california yeah yeah and I can tell, haven't been here a lot. I can tell you that if you're worrying about it, there's plenty of parking. So don't worry about. it. I'm not going to find parking. There's plenty of parking here. There's some structures. Yeah. Yeah. Traffic. Eh, you're on your own with that one. There's there's always traffic, but it, it is a, it's a fun time. I mean, you see Funky how he is here on camera. He's <laughs> I can tell you he's actually friendlier and more fun than this off camera. <laughs> so, oh, I'm super nervous. Yeah. So um uh like. How far? I know we're we're in Fullerton, Orange County, over here. But how far do the artists come from, or, or how 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 um how spread out do you want to throw that net? Uh, I mean worldwide. I mean we we had we had a couple well, artists wait, 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 that were wait. from Mexico, you well, know, that I showcased. Yeah, because see now that somebody's thinking, well, well, wait, I'm I'm in Italy. Will they fly me over there? Uh, no, you got to figure your way out here. Yeah, it, it's yeah. like it crazy. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I did but, have an artist that had art in Italy. But I met her at WonderCon, <laughs> and we hit it off, and she's like, I'll send you pieces. And, and yeah, it turns out she actually lives in Italy. She's yeah. from L.A., but she moved out there. And I was like, oh, wow, cool. So yeah, I've done that. <laughs> so that, uh, you know, step number one, yes, and not just because we're telling you on camera, but really, honestly, it really is a very cool place, the comic book hideout that is. And don't just come on on uh, New Comics Wednesday. Come any any time of the week, and and you'll see everybody is friendly. If you've never been in a comic book store, well, come in, and I guarantee you, you're gonna feel like like it's home. Yeah, it's like you you you're a part of a collective here. You know, uh, it's like a clubhouse. That's always been Glennis's uh, like motto for the hideout. Yeah, she wanted to feel like a treehouse. Yeah. Now, let's end this. Look right into the camera. You're talking to potential artists that can have their their first show show in here let them know tell them how to get a hold of you and, and and tell them about the the whole the whole thing uh cool yeah uh yeah i would definitely say just come down and check us out uh and then you can hit us up on our social media uh we lucked out and we got comic book hide on everything uh also i'm funky garcia on instagram you could you can email me my my email is actually up there um you know send me some work and we can start talking. I actually got, I actually got the year planned out already. I'm, I'm the most ahead right now. It's, it's great. See now, in comic books, usually, especially in the comic book that went to a movie that became a movie, snapping is not a good thing. But here on the Geek Speak Show, watch this. I'm gonna snap all the <laughs> info we just told you. It's gonna show up right here. See, magic. Dope. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, monkey. Thank you. <laughs>